Hey everybody, Roxabox90 here with some spoiler-ish, speculation-ish stuff for Battle of Zendikar, as well as my initial take on the newest holiday gift box for Battle for Zendikar this fall. So, Mark Rosewater posted on Blogatog recently, any chance, or Homestuck413 asked, any chance of full art lands in Battle for Zendikar or the other five fetches, and new is the keyword here. I've been getting these two questions about Battle for Zendikar quite a bit, so he's just going to answer them. First, yes, Battle for Zendikar will have full art lands. They are in for a real treat. He does not say here that they're going to be new. He just says return of full art lands. So it could be prior artworks. It could be some other land art we're already aware of. He doesn't specify. Doesn't guarantee new full art lands, just that there will be some. Pretty sweet overall, though, because any set that has full art lands is awesome in my opinion by definition because basically every pack you get something sweet and the foils are awesome. Secondly, Battle for Zendikar does have a cool rare cycle of dual lands but they're brand new designs and not Zendikar fetch lands. Speculated time and time again the kinds of dual land possibilities they could do that are not ones they've done in the past. I'm not going to really touch on them now but they're not going to be Zendikar fetch lands. This does not mean that the Battle for Zendikar block will not have fetch lands. It makes, I mean, for me, I, my speculation was that return to Zendikar, Battle for Zendikar would have the fetch lands in it, but I can understand that the first set might not have. The second set, if they do have some kind of landfall style mechanic, which is per 75% is going to happen, some kind of landfall or return of landfall or alternate landfall, fetches are going to kind of have to happen, but I know they don't want with their cycle, they don't want to have all 10 fetches in standard for a while. My thought is, if okay, they're not having it in Battle for Zendikar, they could have it in the second set. Just thought out there. Brand new designs, talked about it before, I'm not going to speculate too much here about that. <clears throat> all in all, really interesting announcements. Thank you, Mark Rosewater, for kind of helping us at least a little bit narrow down the possibilities and get excited for full art lands. They're awesome. Also to note, the new holiday gift box. This is Actually, I should go to the Mothership article because it's a little more accurate. Here we go. The Eldrazi are coming. They're bringing a present. This is the box. It looks sweet. It looks gorgeous. Con contains five Battle for Zendikar packs, not four. The prior sets have all had four in them and a promo card. This is going to have five and a promo card. Storage box can hold up to 2,000 magic cards. That is unsleeved magic cards, not sleeved. 20 Battle for Zendikar basic lands. So you get basics, not... It's probably not going to be full art lands. If it is, that's incredible. My gut feeling is says no. Plastic dividers, sticker sheet, alternate art card for Battle for Zendikar. I suppose that's the promo. It does not say it's foil here, but I'm assuming that's the promo. The thing about this box, it was originally supposed to be $20. That would have been sweet. It's $25. So pretty much the same value that you would get just slightly scaled up to prior gift boxes. The important thing to note, and this is something a lot of people don't aren't aware of, these gift boxes have degraded in quality over time. They've gotten worse, much, much worse over time. I got what I think was one of the best holiday gift boxes in return, in return to Ravnica. Gorgeous box, pretty decent quality for something that only cost $20. I also... I skipped the Theros one. I'm not quite sure how that went, but I heard it wasn't good. Khan's Tykir holiday box was f unbelievably bad. It really is. The cards are... The plastic is complete junk. The sides are slimmer. It feels like a much weaker box, and I would trust my cards in it much less... much less than I would the Return to Ravnica one. The only problem I had was that the Return to Ravnica one I had was falling apart, and now a lot of... a lot of retailers are overpricing the original Battle for Zendikar... Battle, f ah, gosh, I keep forgetting, confusing the two. Return to Ravnica box. I would say that twenty-five dollars for a promo, some lands, and five packs. That's a hit or miss deal. I think that's completely up to you. I would just warn you: don't expect the quality of the box to be great. It's probably better, to be honest. <clears throat> Buy three packs for ten or whatever from your local game store. You get six packs for twenty. Just do that. It's a much healthier plan. And unless you need the storage space, it's not probably not great value. We ha I haven't gotten it or played with it or had anyone I know get it. My gut feeling says it's going to be lower quality. If it's not, I'd love to hear. Let me know if you get it and just you know, shoot me an email or whatever. So some pretty interesting stuff today. 
Let me know what you guys think below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, then please tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe. As always, Roxbox 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.